I feel sorry for the ones who are looking to get the Galaxy Z Fold 5, as we get some real information on Fold 5, and to be very honest, Samsung should worry about the Z Fold 5. Almost everything is confirmed, and I have some bad news about the Z Fold 5. We were expecting one of the biggest updates for the Z Fold 5 on both inner and cover display, and we thought Samsung is going to use a new display technology on Fold 5 as per previous rumors. But now as per recent confirmed news, Fold 5 is going to come with the same 1200 nits peak brightness, same as Z Fold 4, and less than a recently launched Google Pixel 4. And it seems like iSinuous is right about the Galaxy Z Fold 5 inner and cover display, as it will look more like a Fold 4, come with a 7.6 inches 120Hz panel and a 6.2 inches cover display which is wider. Now recent rumor didn't confirm the wider cover display, but if we are getting a new hinge, which is 100% confirmed, Fold 5 will going to come with a slightly wider cover display, but don't expect to be as wider as Pixel Fold or Fine N2. A small difference between the Fold 4 and Fold 5, and here is the difference. Not big, definitely, still a difference is real. By getting a new hinge design, we were missing a feature on Fold 5, and as per previous rumors, flex mode is not like what we get on the Fold 4. But here comes the good news. Flex mode is getting better on Fold 5. It will be different than the Fold 4 and the flex inch is 20, 29% better than the Z Fold 4. Now it was already out that Samsung is going to give us an update in the software of Fold 5 and that new software comes with a new flex mode for the Fold 5. With the new hinge which is water drop, Fold 5 cannot free stop at any angle. Instead, it will stop at certain angles so flex mode will work accordingly. Galaxy Z Fold 5 could be one of the most powerful Android smartphones for this year, as it will come with an overclocked version of Snapdragon Agent 2, which will be clocked at 3.36 GHz. If you want the numbers, here are some real figures of Fold 5. It is coming with 90% better CPU performance, 25% better GPU performance, and 30% better NPU performance. Again, these are performance numbers, but power efficiency another big feature of Fold 5 as Snapdragon Agent 2 is way more power efficient than the previous generation, which is why Z Fold 5 will last longer than the Z Fold 4. Although, Fold 5 is going to come with the 4400mAh battery, same as last year. But processor plays a major role to give us more battery backup on Fold 5, which is about 2 hours or so more than the Fold 4, and you can use light mode to even extend the battery. Now this is another bad news. Fold 5 is going to come with the same 25W fast charger. Some also say it's 45W, which is not true. Samsung is getting different with the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and we're going to see two events for the first time ever. The first one will be in Seoul, South Korea on 27th of July, and second one will be in US on August 11th. The pre-orders will start the same day it will launch, hopefully on 27th. Samsung will drop the price on Galaxy Z Fold 5, which you should check in this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time, till then, peace out.